My philosophy when it comes to feeding people at home is to treat guests like family and family like guests. Everyone's equally special. I like to have recipes that are simple and easy. First I'm going to make an apple tart, a puff pastry apple tart using spreadable brie with Granny Smiths and galas. Really simple and easy but special. Nice to look at and great in the mouth. I'm using puff pastry. You can use any pastry you like but I like the flaky effect of this. If you make uh, your own pastry with butter it'll be much crisper if you make a regular pastry which is also good. More cracker like. And then you take the spreadable brie which you can soften in the microwave or leave in the sun half the morning and using the back of a spoon. You want, it to sp you want it smooth enough to spread because the pastry if it's a bit soft it will squish on you. So I hope it's soft enough. Just spread it like you're buttering a piece of toast and quite generously. You know that you don't need a recipe for this you know specific measures. You just spread over an amount so you're giving a bit of a base to the apples. It's like a kind of cheesecake underneath the apples but just very thin. Now what's wonderful about this is that this brie, it is brie, it's not processed, it's actual brie, but there's no rind on it so you can get a spoon right in there and dig it out and spread it around on recipes like these which is very convenient. Okay for this tart I don't even bother peeling the apples because I like the pretty red and green mixed and I cut them kind of like you know when you're cutting the cheeks off mangoes, one side like that, one side like that, then the last two and then you can get a nice thin slice by laying them face down and just going along like that. So they're all really even which is nice because they'll cook at the same time. You just chop the apples and lay them on until you have enough. You don't have to worry about counting or weighing or anything. I'm just going to line it up like this, slightly overlapping, right on top of the cheese. It's very easy to make yourself look like a pro when you're doing little pastry things like this in a tidy way. I'm not even going to dot it with butter because the cheese is underneath remember and that's your creaminess that will be in the finished product. And then just a little bit of sugar. So suit yourself but I don't go too sugary. This is just to give them some color. So the oven's at 375 and this needs about 25 minutes, 30 minutes. You want the pastry puffed up and golden and the apple should be nice and tender and soft with a little bit of color from the sugar. Presto! Golden pastry, nice tender apples and the syrup. Now you can just pull this, I leave this on the paper just so I can do exactly that and the syrup's really easy. You just need equal amounts of sugar and water, a good teaspoon or two of chopped fresh rosemary. Bring that to a boil so it gets a syrupy consistency. So you got this sweet savory creamy spreadable brie base which is a bit cheesecake like, nice apples, crunchy pastry. It's really easy to serve on a platter to people you know and you can cut it in little squares, you can eat it with a fork, you can pick it up with your fingers. I'll be polite. Mm. That's a perfect dessert for me or tea time thing because it's not heavy and sugary and it just hits the spot. Nice creamy cheese, beautiful apples, rosemary syrup and crunchy pastry. Very complex in the mouth but simple to make. To find out more about the great taste of President Cheese and other easy to make recipes, go to betterlivingtv.ca forward slash spreadable brie.